Hi, Happy New Year. I'm Judy Vitale, and this is your Read the Stars Horoscopes at Work forecast for the week of January 2nd through 8th, 2017. Wow, can I get used to saying that? Let's hope so. Okay, so I have good news for you. Mercury is about to end its retrograde period. It'll be uh, doing that on Sunday morning, very early on the East Coast, but we may not notice the effects for a day or so, and I'll explain why when we get there. Also, some other things happening. Venus moving into Pisces from Aquarius. That's on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, Mercury will make its retrograde motion back into Sagittarius out of Capricorn. So you Sagittarius people don't have enough. Well, Saturn, you're going to have Mercury in there too going retrograde. But it will come out, as I said, on Sunday very early. So let's go through this day by day. I'll tell you right now, the best day of work for the week is probably going to be Tuesday. The week is not horrible for work, but that's just like a really good day. So I thought I'd point that out off the bat. If you have meetings and such, you know, make sure that they're on Tuesday. Monday might be a day off for a lot of you, but it's still going to be pretty nice. The moon will be moving into Pisces at 4.57 a.m. on the East Coast. And um, as that occurs, people will become more altruistic, sweeter, nicer, also a little bit spacey. So um, if you see that your mind isn't quite working the way that you like it to, try to focus a little bit more and really hone in on what it is that you want to accomplish. A nice connection between the moon and Venus and the moon and another connection between the moon and Mercury will make it easy to communicate your feelings. Late at night, however, the moon will be very, very on top of the planet Neptune. A lot of deception around. So people, you know, might not even mean to be deceptive, but they will say things because they think you want to hear them. And you might hear things because you want to hear them. So you got to watch out for that on Monday night late on the East Coast, a little bit earlier in the evening elsewhere. Tuesday, like I said, a really great day for work. We continue with the moon in Pisces all day long. Uh, and Mars will give it a little bit of energy in the morning, which will be awesome. Venus will move into Pisces, and this will make people feel a little bit softer than they have for the last uh, couple of weeks. And then later on in the day, the moon makes some nice aspects to the sun and Pluto, and Venus and Mercury make aspects to one another. So again, really great for, for conversations, communication, connections, agreements of all kinds, but don't sign anything until after Sunday, okay, if you can help it. And then um, we have the moon square Saturn at 8.33 p.m. And that is going to make people kind of shut down a little bit. And uh, on Wednesday, the moon goes void, of course, for just a few minutes between 11.14 a.m. and 11.20 a.m. when it moves into Aries. And you'll notice it because everybody will be like, yeah, let's move, let's move, let's do stuff. Mercury will, however, be still moving retrograde and it'll shift signs into Sagittarius. And so whatever you start on Wednesday may not go in the direction that you intend. Let's just put it that way. On Thursday, this is probably the most disagreeable day that I would say for this week. Um, in that, the moon in Aries will make square aspects, which are always a little bit difficult. They create conflicts. They tend to like set up a, an atmosphere where people are more likely to disagree than to be amicable. And so uh, there will be some aspects with Pluto and Uranus, although they're still not in their very tight square that we saw the last few years. They're still up there, and they're still stirring things up. On Friday, the moon will be void, of course, for a little while in the afternoon between 1.41 p.m. and 3.18 p.m. And um, there will be some lovely aspects again between the moon and Jupiter, the moon and Saturn, and the moon and Mercury, and the moon and Venus. So that's not a bad day either, except for that void, of course, period, because when the moon is void, of course, it's very hard to conclude um, and, you know, what you start, it is okay to conclude things that you already started, by the way. But if you're going to have a meeting and try to get something started, it isn't going to work out quite the way you imagined. On Saturday, the moon will be in Taurus all day. So that puts people in that mood of like really getting down and finishing things and also being a little bit not uh, terribly ambitious or in motion. And Taurus people are ambitious. Don't, don't mistake what I'm saying. But the moon in Taurus makes us feel like we would rather have pleasure than work. And so that's the feeling basically for Saturday. And there'll be a Sun conjunct Pluto conjunction. So there may be some discussion about how much is going to get done this Saturday. And after the holidays, maybe it is good to just call it for a rest day. Besides, there's so much good football on. <laughs> and then on Sunday, uh, the moon will be void, of course, all day. 
until 5.06 p.m., which makes that thing of Mercury going out of its retrograde period at 4.43 a.m. a bit of an iffy thing. So, you know, like I said, when the moon is void, of course, things don't always turn out the way that they're supposed to. So it's quite possible that that station of Mercury moving from backwards to forwards that we've all been hoping for isn't going to be so um, rainbows and unicorns as we had hoped. However, we um, are going to be uh, in the clear by next week sometime. And I think that, you know, we'll be talking about a full moon and all that kind of great stuff happening by next week. As for me this week, I am now um, available to meet you in downtown Pittsburgh, if you like, at a place called Coterie. So um, you can contact me and find out more about that if you'd like to meet me in downtown Pittsburgh. I'm always available, by the way, uh, through GoToMeeting, telephone. I, I work a lot of times with people out of state and even out of the country. I'll be at Green Arras in Aspen Hall on Thursday afternoon and at Journeys of Life this Friday, special, special, one to five, doing uh, people coming in and, and having consultations with me. And then I'll be doing a Friday night forum with my friend Angel Lozada. And we'll be talking about what's to come in 2017 in terms of astrology on my part and tarot on his. So um, try to make it. Call Journeys of Life at 412-681-8755 to reserve your space. I hope that we'll see you there. In the meantime, if you need to contact me about anything from transpersonal coaching, hypnotherapy, or good old astrology, you know where to find me. It's Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.